What's up guys, the Crimson Gamer here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 1. Now, we are where we left off, so we were kicked out of Herschel's farm because his son, his son Sean, was killed. And we were in our way into Macon, we're in Macon now with Kenny, um, we got surrounded by zombies, and some strangers allowed us to seek refuge in their mini-mart. Which is also, uh, wink wink, Lee's parents' pharmacy. So, we are trying to figure out how to get into the infirmary because the older guy, Larry, has a heart problem and he could die if we don't. Okay, so, there's a bit of a scene here where if you talk to Carly, it's a radio joke. She can't figure it out because there's no batteries in it. Um, regardless if you talk to her about it or not, uh, you'll still have like an inside joke there, so you don't really have to worry about that. Doug, you go outside with him, but I don't need to do that yet. Um, I don't think I do. I think the first thing I need we to do anything happen to is Dougie. get into... Hold up. In the office. I think that's the first thing. I think. And there's Clementine right behind me. That all though. I can't. So I guess can't think about that on that here. All right, so blocked out the exit. So we are going to be um, just. I honestly don't remember much about this episode, to be honest. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. <laughs> my dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Alright, so now I think we look in... Do, can we move it already? Sure. I guess Better so. get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. Yep. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? <laughs> Straight up, no. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> you gotta hide that path, eh? Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. 
into some trouble. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! <gasps> no! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Oh, shit. I'll find you a bandage. Uh, where are the bandages again? Oh, right here, I think, actually. No? Oh, wait, there's a first aid kit, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. There you go, Clem. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Oh shit, I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> Let's Just get this it. cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. It's okay. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh, yeah, I don't think I should say they won't. Lee? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. There you go, Stay that's close good. to me until then, okay? Alright. I think it's locked. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Now this is... I remember what we need to do now. Sorry, me having played this game kind of gives me an advantage, but I do know what we have to do now. We have to go outside with Doug. I think. I think, actually. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Energy bar. I'm gonna give that to Doug, actually. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. You're welcome. There's another energy bar somewhere. Hey there. Oh. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. All right. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Oh, we should probably head out now. Or I could go out with Glenn, or with Doug. But no, I think I need to do a thing with Glenn first. Oh, here's another energy bar. Here, I'll go give that to Clementine. This can go to Clem. Before I head out. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. You're of welcome. Course. Taking care of the kids, that should be the top priority over anything. Especially in a zombie apocalypse, nonetheless, so... All right, Kari, let's go. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yep. Yeah. Let's go. One ugly motherfucker. Oh, 
All right, now this is a really fun part of the game, and by fun I mean annoying as fuck, because I used to always fuck up really big on this. So there's a chance I may die once or twice. Just giving you the heads up. Sorry, I'll stop talking for the cutscene. Right then, wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room. I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, so like a really large obstacle to get to her too. It's it's kind of a puzzle, uh, to be honest. You always have to make sure you don't die. It's it's pretty tricky. Well, at least it was for okay, me. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. No one attracts these things. Actually, if we just shot them, that probably would have been a lot better. Okay, so let's see what's over. Let's take that pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, so we got the pillow. What's up here? Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right What's there. What's over here? Close. Okay, let's go to the car. Our truck. Okay, let's see. I wonder see. if there's anything in the pickup. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what we use. Let's hit it with a pillow! <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. No, don't smash it. You're smarter than that. Okay. Okay, we Get gotta kill there. this one. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Shoot him. Bam. That was sick. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what's in here. There we go. Spark plug. And now what we can do here. Oh, I'm not the issue. Spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. I know what to do. Go back over here. See, it's like, it's a really big puzzle. And that's what I really like is when the game has these. Because it really does confuse you, but it's also really fun. Now the spark plug will break the window. Let me see the spark plug. Of course, something inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Let's do it. That was kind of loud. <laughs> now we can grab this. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now I think we go back over here. Let's see. I think. Okay, 
Can we kill it? Yes. Oh, come on, Lee. See, I knew I was gonna die once. At least once. You fucking idiot. I did it too early. I hate that, how you can do it too early. Damn, man. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, Lord. You know what? You know what? I, I, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. So, let's go over here. Oh, Lord. Now you, I think, we can kill. There you go. Sure. Now we move the car. Because I did the gear shift. Yeah, we can do it. Go right into this fat ass. Coming through! <laughs> <That was> awesome! <laughs> yeah, this is stupid to realize what just happened. I guess I'm not supposed to kill that one over there. Oh yeah, it did it went on Glenn. Don't trying to kill with the screwdriver. That was my fuck up there. You guys got to see me die twice, so Okay. That should make up for not dying in the last video. Alright, let's do it. Kill him. Bam. I got one for you too, buddy. Rat. There we go. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Friend. Glenn. I don't want that. It's not <laughs> Christian. Glenn, you asshole. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? 
What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Oh, boy. Give it to her. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. That marks basically the end of this part, because it's 20 right? minutes in. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of the He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alright guys, so we have had some amazing fun during this video. We saved Glenn's ass, we helped Clementine, we cleared out the office, made some pretty good progress. Next part could potentially be the last of the episode, so it's up to you whether you want to see a hunted one step too far after this, or if you want me to finish the episode first, up to you. Let me know in the comments. If I don't get one, I'll just do a hunted video. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.